Hello, everybody, and welcome back to some Sam Sees Ghost Hearthstone. I want to show you guys the list first. We are going to play some Smork Hunter today. So I'm sure this is the list you're seeing on Ladder a lot. This is the Vicious Syndicate list. It has a lot of early game aggression with Demon Companion, Intrepid Initiate, Tour Guide to Make Your Hero Power Cost Zero, Oracle Tinger, which is really good to get off of Scavenger's Ingenuity, Run 2, Imprisoned Felmom. We have Dorvan Sharpshooter for Anti-Tempo. And then this the deck did run two, one Pressure Plate and one Explosive Trap. I cut one of the pressure, the pressure Plate for the Explosive Trap. We have one Freezing Trap. Two Phase Stalkers, which can also be drawn off Scavenger's Ingenuity. We have Voracious Reader for Refill. We have Toxic Reinforcements for a little extra reach in the end game. And then we have Lord Keeper Pole Kelt to throw your opponent on a timer, because then you draw Dragon's Bane, your kill command, and your Eagle Horn Bow. If you saw the last round, I'm, I am at Diamond 1 right now, and maybe we'll get to Legend in this video. Not holding my breath, but let's get into it. So against a Druid, we want to put as much early game pressure on as we can. Um, I'm going to send this back to the deck, because this will probably be our turn 2. Yeah, so let's send one Whirlpool Tinger back. We have one for the early game. We have this to buff on turn two. Then we can also draw on turn two. I like it. Prism Felmaw is good also. I don't know, that might be a turn one just so we can get it on board early. I have a hard time believing this is token, but it could be. This could be a token Druid deck. That is a bizarre turn one and not the one I think we do. So he either has a Guardian Emeralds in his hand, he wants to go off, or he is just trying to ramp into something. He can't do anything with his hero power next turn. Next turn we're going to Warble Tinger and buff it. Major Studies a card that I think should cost like five mana. <laughs> Not really. I don't think that card is that bad. I don't think it's a very fair card, but whatever. Saxon Reinforcements is fine. We don't want to use it right now. It's more of a late game card. But we play a Warble Tinger. We'll buff. And we'll have a 2 2, a 1 1, another 1 1, and a 5 4 next turn. This is really a card to save for when you have your kill commands. So he's going to go into Overgrowth, it looks like. Yeah, that's fine. We want to just keep putting enough pressure on board so it's hard for him to deal with it. Especially if he does have... Oh, that's really good. Especially if he does... Does... Does have, um... Guarding Animals next turn. We're going to hit him in the face for 4. And put 6 worth of stats on board. So assuming he does have Guarding Animals next turn, which I wouldn't doubt, we want to deal with it as soon as we can. Lightning Bloom into Yasera. If it's Yasera, we don't care. My yeah, we don't care about Yasera. Looks like he has two Fog Beams, which is, again, fine. Um, yeah, so... We're gonna let him deal with whatever's on our board. And ignore the rest, mainly by Eagle Horn Bow. And we'll play that next turn. We'll just play another 1-1 one, one for now. And we're just going to go hit him with this. Especially because next turn we do have a lethal if any of this survives. He did not draw a dragon, which is good for us. This goes here. Guarding animals sucks. Well, you can't guard animals because he has 6. Oh, that's fine. GG. Two, three, four, five. I can see. There it goes. This deck is just good. So I do have to. I will. I'm going to uh, take a deep breath real quick because I am. My heart's beating a little bit. Every time I climb up pretty high, I feel a little anxious. So let's stop doing that. And let's see what we can do on turn one. I really like Darwin Sharpshooter, especially if this is an aggro deck. I like. I like this whole hand. So my turn one, I think, is going to be Intrepid Initiate Coin. Demon Companion or Dwarven Sharpshooter Demon Companion. I like this hand a lot though. This deals with aggro super well. It 
if this is an aggro deck, we are the... We are kind of the better aggro deck, I think. That doesn't tell me anything. This could be either or. I'm just going to play the Sharpshooter, though, because he has to kill this by trading and hero power and using either a Twin Slice or a Chaos Strike. So he is going to trade and do which is fine. That puts him on a timer in the end game, which is great. Let me work my magic. We are just going to go face. This is not enough pressure for me to want to worry about anything. This has to trade somewhere. I'm guessing here and here. I mean, he's going to go here. Oh, that's going to go face. That could be a Soul Shard Mystic, which sucks. Yeah. So he didn't. I don't think I was going to go for him. I think he drew that a moment ago. I don't want to give him that back. So what we're going to do is... I don't want to put him on a timer yet. Because we're not at 6 mana and we're going to end up drawing so heavy. So we're just going to play this. And we're going to go face. It might be the incorrect play to go face. But a 3-2 doesn't worry me. We may play the secret next turn just to make sure we get another charge on our weapon. That may be what has to happen. Uh, but I think we go in with this on 5. So I think my play next turn is this. Into this. Oh, there's our dragon thing. So let's go with this. We will coin. So we can play this and hero power. So next turn we'll go in. Unless we get something like... Voracious Shooter doesn't do anything because we're not we're not gonna be able to play anything. I want to get that so I get the charge for the weapon. I really don't care if he has a lapidary. I think maybe Pokel is good because it is just anti-tempo, right? Oh, well, next we can deal five. Which we kind of need to because just healed a bunch. We might get burned out before. He might, he might be erased. Yeah, so Voracious Reader doesn't do a lot um, in right now. So what happens if we go into this? We start drawing our deck. We draw... We're playing this next turn. We draw Kill Command, Kill Command, Eagle Horn Bow. Then we start going to two drops, which are Secrets, Face Stalker, and draw a Minion. And Felmaws. So is that what we want to do? I think so. Let's let's put him on a timer. Let's make him deal with this too. And I'm sure he can deal with it. But he only also has one Soul Shard in his deck. So that's something to be um, mindful of. I think we drew super heavy here. But he's going to take four, which is great, honestly. So we really want our dragon thing to hit that. I think we want to hit it bad enough that we trade. That's fine. Now next time we can refill with the Eagle Rumble. He's out of Soul Shard, so it's harder for him to Lapidary now, which is great. Um, so next turn we go in with this and probably this to draw some cards. And we can also Hero Power and get the uh, Leper Gnomes on board. Now killing that Gladebound Adept put him in a very weird patient. situation. Which is really nice. The lifesteal. He can probably twin slice up. We're going to same, which is also I fine. So he's going to try and rush me down. Looks like. Which I think is okay. So we're at seven. We do have to kind of kill him now. Which might be difficult.
Let's just just dug in and kill that. That's good to kill, which is good. Kind of at a do or die right now. Because we can pretty easily get some damage. But I think he's also done if we don't. Because he needs to get four. Quincy, yeah, he's dead. No coming back. We're done. It's unfortunate. We kind of drew very top heavy there. But we lost one, so now I'm kind of like. I'm good with it because we're still in Diamond 1. So we did just lose two in a row. Let's see if we can get another win in. Ugh. The issue with the both games, I'm not going to. I'm going to edit the third one out, is we just really drew all. We both those games, we just drew our top end. It's the same exact issue was we didn't have a. We didn't have an early game at all. Uh, we drew Cole Kelt in the Dragon's Bane both games. And into the second one, we drew Kill Command, Kill Command back to back. So, just some bad draw right there. That's a weakness to this deck. But another Druid, which is really nice. So, I don't think we care too much about Sharpshooter. I like Scavenger's Ingenuity. Again, drawing a Warp Retainer is good. I think we probably coin Scavenger's Ingenuity. I think I'm playing a little too fast too, so let's slow down and actually think about this. Darvin Sharpshooter is not a necessary card in this matchup. Unless on the very... I'm going to keep it in the very unlikely chance that it is token. Dorblin Sass Station is good, and Tour Guide is good as well. I think we keep Tour Guide going to Scavenger's Ingenuity, and if we get... Um, I like this hand. And if we get um, Face Stalker, we can play it and immediately we'll use the hero power as well. Okay. Felmoth. I think we just do what we did last time and coin a Felmoth. Then next time we can go this and then this into whatever we're drawing. So yeah, if you draw your early game, if you draw your late game, kind of not very good. Looks like he's going right into a overgrowth, which is fine. I think that's a little too. I don't think you want to bloom into overgrowth, but that is just me. So hopefully we get a um, freezing trap off of this. So it does look like next time we go into Guardian Animals, which is unfortunate. No, see it's six, never mind. We hit for five. We play this. We play this. Hero power and fix. Really good if we get three control We did not. So unless he has a way to innervate out Guardian Animals, we have another chance, which I mean we'll guarantee he can get it. Um, but if he has the innervates, he has the Omo. You too will bloom. Never bloom. Okay. We gotta kill this, the Omo. Which we'll be able to do. But a bunch of big bears. So let's hit it first. Let's see. We got, we got that. And then... Instead of the demonic pain, let's guarantee that it dies. And then we'll hit him in the face. So, yep. This is a freezing trap, so this will be sent back to him. It's the overflow, which actually doesn't really matter right now. He's gonna hit him in the face for 9, 11, 13. So if he doesn't trade, so this has to die now, which it will. Go with Demonic Companion first. Good. And then we're hitting this for sure. And then we'll Adorable Infestation this. we we'll play another one of these. And we will hit him in the face for 11, 13. 
really wish I had a kill command. So I think we're in a good shape. Yep. Even if you play another Guardian Animals, we'd be fine.